morning to everybody who joined the session. It's called Spread by COVID, Income Generator in Low-Touch Economy. Okay, what does it mean by this topic, actually? We talk about with this low-touch economy, uh, economy, the business paradigm change, the way how we do business no longer the same. For example, recently when uh, there is one company that will, uh, they do, they have a lot of salesmen in Kuala Lumpur, but they serve the outskirts of uh, those rural areas. Okay, this is a real scenario. Just to share one of the case study. They went to call to Mickey. Okay, they asked. Okay, now it's already CMCO. So that's why they would like to, uh, their salesmen to go out of Kuala Lumpur to do the marketing out uh, at the rural area, like Gua Musang, those Kampung Kampung, and the rest. Because their business is selling electronics, uh, not gadgets, you know, electronic products like uh, semiconductors and also the others. So from there, so what is the issue is, uh, they're facing now, which is if they do not reach to the client, so the client will not do order or the client would not uh, pay the amount of money. So that is the real scenarios that happen in the market act, uh, for some of the uh, uh, traditional way of doing business. So because of that, when they call to Miti, Miti just mentioned that, okay, now you want to do one, you have to change, you have to adapt to the new business environment, you want another one, you have to go ahead with the online, you see? So even though they are selling gadgets, yeah, they're, sorry, they're selling electronic, small, uh, small components, the right way components. So you have to change yourself so that you are able to survive in these situations. Whereas I would say that uh, one survey was conducted and also they found that Malaysian, there are still a lot of people Okay, small business, it's not talk about big corporation, they talk about small business still couldn't adapt to the new business environment. So because of that, so, and not only that, I think that every day when you see the news, one of the very common topics that you could hear or you could see is that they talk about retrenchment. They talk about people start to lose job. They talk about gig economy, meaning that you have to survive yourself and not only that even though if you're corporate if your organization a lot of people start to convert the business model into the uh what is that called the gig economy model that fulfill the low touch economics because now today if you're a marketer instead of you go to see client i would say that it's very very much client not going to see you okay because of they feel they don't feel comfortable and don't feel safe to meet people, they try to reduce the contact as much as possible. So because of this, so that's why we as a business owner or we as a staff of the company have to think on behalf of the organization, what you can propose back to the organization, how you can help them. One of the method is by going through the e-commerce, we call it as the, 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 the what is called, as an income generator and of course when you talk about e-commerce so it's not only in terms of technology itself but you have to learn the more holistic type of the e-commerce for example the first step is you have to choose the right business model are you choosing the business model such as doing as a retailer are you doing as a drop shipping what are the business models that suit you so not only that from the business model how you understand the basic i would say that all business, regardless of what you do also, we talk about four basic things, which is the 4P principle, and also the other uh, practical, for example, how you read the analytic and also the others. So all those are in the area that you have to learn it out. Of course, you can learn it out through your YouTube and others, but the process would be slow because, and some more you have to go through try and error. But however, if you are learning from a Sifu like uh, Puan Nick Zakia, so the scenario will be totally different. So because of that, so let me introduce who is our guru or our expert today, Puan Nick Zakia. Puan Nick Zakia began her career as an external auditor for eight years and then become academician and fulfill a full-time trainer for 13 years. She has 22 years of experience working in various fields such as training development, accounting audit, taxation, whatever field you can talk about it. And of course, she is a successful 
entrepreneur. What makes Zakia strikes uh, on the challenges, making her courses a learning experience for learning participants. And she stimulates the encouraged personnel and group dynamic. And not only that, the most important I want to share is Nick Pony uh, is currently also a trainer under MDAC. So for those after this session, because MDAC is doing some sponsor, for those participants, they can join for uh, a one day full session. You can leave your name in the telegram. I will pass to Nick, uh, pass to Pony Nick for further, uh, further, further contact you so that you can you can join her full day session for free, which is uh, sponsored under MDAC actually. So why not we listen to the expert and see how she's able to convince you to start your online store. Would you be convinced? We wait and see in this short time. Whereas I've seen the slide is very, very interesting. So that's why we are going to adopt the model that used by Huanik to be in humanology and also CBMRA to help and also to make sure the message spread like a COVID. Of course, it will help you to generate income, not like COVID, to kill us from generating income. With this, I would like to invite Juan Nick to continue her session. Thank you very much. Oh, such a wonderful opening. Okay. So, uh, as mentioned earlier, my name is Nick Zakia, Nick Mohammed Zain. You can call me Koshi or Katni. Okay, I, uh, I have uh, experience as uh, an auditor uh, and then I'm an academician and now currently I am a full-time trainer. So uh, I, I am very uh, keen to share my experience and my expertise and my knowledge to everyone to be an entrepreneur. Okay, so I combine all of my experience from the accounting, from the bookkeeping, auditing, taxation, as well as the entrepreneurship skills. Okay, so everyone is ready? So our topic today is... Uh, oh, before I proceed, can I check my sound? Is it sound? Uh, is okay. No issues on sounds? All right. Thank you, Nazmi. Uh, thank you, uh, Ida Hariati. Okay, our topic today is Spread Like COVID, the income generator in low-touch economy. Spread like COVID. COVID is killing, but for today, we are not killing people. We make people live happily when they have more money because mine, as for me, and I believe everyone is agree with me, Cash is king, okay? Even though some people say cash is the root of all evil. But as for me, if you don't have cash, you feel like dying, right? Uh, so today, uh, okay. Uh, this is a little bit about me. I'm a certified Iusawan trainer. I'm also a certified HRDF trainer. I'm also an Ahli Pertubuhan Person, which is called Tamri, and I am also appointed as Peace Counselor Institute Ke Usawan is, um, Negara in SCAN. Okay, what we learned today is the first thing is the first agenda is why we need to go online and digital, digitalize the business. Okay, the second agenda is how we want to use one of the search engine optimization from Google, which is so-called Google Trends. Uh, from the Google Trend, we can validate our idea and know the best keywords who are searching on our product. Okay, I will show later step by step. Okay, and then uh, I will introduce the five form popular platform and the, from the five po popular platform, I would like to choose uh, to share about Facebook and zero cost marketing. Okay, why zero cost marketing? Start with something which is without cost. Okay, 
the third one is what is the blueprint for a digital marketing success okay okay why we why why your business need to go online and digitalize your business okay currently because of the mco or cmco everyone should stay at home so even though uh, currently we are on the cmco some business were able to resume the operation but still people are very scared to go uh, to go outside and do shopping so if you are serious with your with your business or you want to do something uh, as your side income line in our new norms before and after the CMO or after the COVID-19 pandemic. Okay, for example, the a few uh, industries are highly affected such as hotels, airlines, and the travel agents. So they have no choice. They have to find another business that can uh, generate income. For some business which is partly infected, like training and consultant, we have to change our business model from face-to-face -face training. We go to on online training. For example, what like we are doing today, we are sharing knowledge through webinar. Okay. So today I will share with you all of you on why we have to go online and digital, digitalize our business uh, if you look at my seven point seven five billion for total population okay people who are using unique mobile phone users are 5.1 billion which is 67 from the total population okay Internet users, 4.54 billion, which is 59% from the total population. And active using social media is 3.8 billion penetration, 49%. So look at this. We have so many people as our prospect or target customer that can easily give money and transfer money from their bank to our bank when we do business. The, the, the first thing is we have to know what is the best technique and how to do it until we get the money okay are you ready to have more money in your bank okay so digital digital marketing consists of your product branding or your company branding using the social media by using the social media you have to make posting every day it's either content posting storytelling and a few more types of posting you can also use email marketing video production using youtube you can use your website if you have one and you you also currently people are doing the mobile apps because majority people are with their handphones okay so Okay, the first reason is because everyone stay at home, everyone with almost 24 hours with their handphone. So, uh, they are uh, very easy for us to reach them. When we go online, we can reach more potential customer regardless where are their location. gender or occupation reach more people means you have more chances to convert into sales reach more potential customer are chances to conduct into more sales and get more money but how i will explain later the second reason is we can earn or generate sales while being at home while doing 
yeah, everyday chorus, taking care of our children and family and doing all the housework at the same time we can generate income. That really is the only cause that Inkert is out to do online business is our handphone or laptop, uh, high speed internet and no rental costs, no tolls, no parking charges and no traveling costs at all. So it is very how and what and when to do. We have to look for opportunity to survive and we have to take the challenge and don't feel sad during this uh, eco low touch economy. We have to take the uh, challenge as an opportunity. Okay. So if we, let's say, Oh, I don't know how to go online. I don't know to how to digitalize our business. So the thing is, when you go on the traditional marketing, we uh, we okay. I'll look at the chat. Uh, how's my sound? Because Mustafa cannot hear me. Hayley also cannot hear me. How about others? Can you hear me? It sounds okay. Okay. How about now? You can hear. So can I proceed now? All right, loud and clear. Okay, I will proceed. Okay, okay. Uh, where were we just now? Okay, for 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 a time being, doing the MCO and CMO, you don't feel sad. You have to make see the challenges as an opportunity, and you have to go online. Okay, so if you don't, some people say, oh, I don't know how to do online. I don't know how to digitalize. Okay, if you keep on, is you have, you only have limited audience because, for example, if your shop are at uh, Jalan ABC, so people or around that area and location can reach you okay and it's not versatile but if you go online and digitalize your business you can reach out to the maximum people you can choose your targeted audience okay uh, how and why for example, uh, I can I can show you how to use Google Trend or search engine optimization to know where are people looking for your product. Okay, are you ready? Okay, Nuriza, LCH, not clear. How about others? Meaning that it's not my line, it's your line. Okay. Good audio. Thank you, Asnan. Good audio. Okay. Okay. Now, uh, my second agenda is to validate your idea using Google Trend. Google Trend is one of the search engine optimization that can validate your idea, know what people are searching for online based on our keywords. Okay, from Google Trend also, we can understand how often people are searching for certain terms or topics on the Google. 
And Google Trend also allows you to customize uh, your search data by a real well, by a region, time, period, category. So you can choose Malaysia as the country. For example, if you say that, oh, I want to find my prospect in Singapore. So you can choose. Is Google Trend is a very effective way to gauge the popularity of the certain terms and topics among the target audience. Okay, so let's get started. How to use the Google Trend. So everything, everyone is ready? Okay, you can go to Google and type Google Trends. Okay, so everyone can uh, you can uh, you can try to hands on or you just look at how to do it. I show first, you try to understand, and later you also can try. If you use a laptop, you can try by uh, opening another tab. Okay, try Google Trend. Okay, for example, if you want to search for Tudong or you want to sell Tudong, you can type Tudong here and compare. Okay, so you can compare. For example, okay, the first keywords you use is Tudong. The second one is you want to try uh, Ariani. Okay, so you can put in, we have five uh, keywords that we can compare at once. Ariani, uh, Bawal, okay, I make, uh, I only choose three, okay. Everyone can look, uh, can see my screen share. Okay, from here is the country. So if you want to sell to the Ariani or Bawa at United States, okay, you can maintain the United States. But uh, because we are in, in Malaysia, of course we want look, we want to look at the trend in Malaysia. So you can choose the country and change to Malaysia. Okay. So now you look at here. Okay. The first keywords that we use is to do is using the blue indicator. So the graph is and that people are sitting in, on Google in the past 12 months. Okay. Okay, Ariani with red indicator, so the graph is with the red line, okay? And Ariani is the yellow indicator, the graph is with the yellow line. Okay, so you can look at now from May 12th or November, you can look at the trend, uh, which month is the uh, highest uh, people searching for Tudong, searching for Ariani and searching for uh, Tudong Bawa. So you can go at the line, they will uh, they will show you the date. Okay, why we use 12 months? Because if we want to do our marketing plan, so we can write down which month are people searching for Tudong the most. May 12th, okay, they start setting to do for the maximum. So if we remember last year, May is also the Hari Raya Fest. So during Hari Raya or Puasa, 
so many people are searching for Tudong. If you are selling Tudong, you have to do the promotion and marketing before before people are searching. For example, searching at May, you have to start doing marketing at April. So that when people search, people already can know or your page or uh, your IG can appear in the search uh, results. Okay. So you also can use Google Train if, for example, For example, you want to look at the trend for the past 30 days, which is during the MCO. Stay at home, they don't search for Tudong. Yes, they are searching for Tudong. Look at this. At April 11, okay? Tudong. Uh, people are using uh, keywords for Tudong, Ariani and Bawa. They are searching about 75%. So meaning that from this graph, you can see Tudong is the most popular keyword. Okay. So if you look at this, uh, April 29 is the highest. And... Uh, uh, May, May, 2nd May, people are start searching for Tudong because they already know. Uh, after MCO, CMO will start it and they can go for Hari Raya if they are family or friends. They can visit their family and friends because... Uh, ...around in the same states. Okay? Uh, and then we go down here. They are they are looking. They are uh, showing us the demand for every state in Malaysia. For example, here, okay, you can look. Uh, you can look at the. You can look at the states which have the bolded color. So Kelantan. 100% people are searching to do online. In Terengganu, 85%. Okay. In Pahang, 68%. Kedah, 74%. Perlis, 90%. Sabah, 59%. So, you can sell online with these people around the states which have the higher percent. And again, we also can... If you and choose city, so we can get a more detail about which city are people search to do the most. So we go in the circle. Okay, we can know that Shah Alam, sixty-eight percent people are searching for to do. Kuala Lumpur, hundred percent. Was it nice? Okay. And then the on the right side, okay, these are the keywords that people search more. The first one is Tudong people. Okay. The second one, okay, is everyone with me? Can is everyone understand how to use this Google train? Oh, please comment. Or you can just uh, unmute it to ask questions. Okay, the second keyword that I use just now is Ariani. So let's say I want to sell Ariani and I want to know setting Ariani online or Google the, the keywords Ariani. So from Google Trend, I know I have to sell to people in Terengganu. That's 100%. People in Terengganu are searching Artudo Ariani. Uh, online. Okay. 
the second states that 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 people people searching uh, Ariani online are uh, Kedah seventy four percent. Okay, Pahang forty six, Kelantan thirty eight, Pahang forty one. Okay, and the keywords to search are uh, Gallery Ariani. Okay, the third, the third keyword is Bawal. Okay, Bawal. Kelantan people love to wear tudung Bawal. Okay, that's why 100% people are searching online because during MCO or CMO, people are restricted to go out and buy at the shop. So they buy online. That is why now every people should go digital. Digital the business. Nitranganu 61%, Pahang 78%, Kedah 66 Okay, these are the prospects that you have to tackle them so that people will buy you if they are you selling to Dombawa. Okay, this on the on the right side is the related keywords that people search online. You Bawal masa money. Uh, does it sound funny because we are talking about Rudong Bawal, but actually the keywords are people searching for is Ikan Bawal masa money. Why? Because people stay at home, they are searching for the recipe to cook Ikan Bawal masa money. The second one is Kari Ikan Bawal. And the third one is only they search for to don't bow exclusive. Okay, the fourth one is ikan bawal emas. Again, related to ikan, not the two dough. Okay, the fifth one is recipe ikan bawal. So how how we can use this all all these related queries? Because we already know the keywords that do online so you can use the keywords when you do posting on social media okay? when... your page we have the the keywords also we appear appear in the results so any questions on the google train Okay, for example, if you want to do business in Singapore, so can you can choose you can choose the country in Singapore and to know the demand or to know how many people in Singapore are searching for to do. Okay, uh, you, you change the country to Singapore, and this one. On the period also you can change. For example, you want to know the past seven days. So you just choose seven days. You want to know about the past hour, meaning that now is eleven something, right? So you want to know uh, about ten fifteen. That's okay. Uh, let me try for the the past seven days. The past seven days, okay. In Singapore, people are searched for Tudong. People also search for Tudong Ariani. People are also searched for Tudong Bawa, quite surprisingly. Okay, so if you choose Singapore, the map here will show the uh, map of Singapore. Okay, so. Okay, Sophia Rose, Ariani online. Okay, one of the items. Okay, so everyone are excited using Google Train? So before you go, before you to know 
they are your prospect and uh, which, uh, they are from which states okay uh, the second uh, a search engine optimization i would like to show is google suggest okay can you can you look uh, can you see my screen can everyone see my screen okay so for example if you want to surrounding because surrounding is now in bulan puasa uh, many people are searching for surrounding so when you type surrounding Google will suggest the most keywords that are searched in Google. For example, you can look at this. Okay, we have serunding ayam. Okay, serunding. The most keyword or the most thing that people are searching on Google are the first one is serunding ayam, the second one is serunding ikan, serunding daging. Serunding kelapa or serunding in English. Okay, so if you want to start something, okay, you just type one word, then Google will do all the suggestion down here. This is we call Google Suggest, another search engine optimization. So today I already share with you two search engine optimization. This is Google Trend. Google Trend can show you where are your prospect or your customer who are searching online on the product that you are searching for. The second search engine optimization is uh, Google Suggest. Okay, is it okay? Okay, let's get back to our PowerPoints. Okay. Okay, so can everyone look, look at this? Okay. So everything clear? Okay, after we have used the Google Trend and the Google Suggest, we already know where are our prospect or potential customer be. So when you do your posting, you can uh, target your audience to the same place. Okay. In digital marketing, we have the best, the five best platform. The best five are the Facebook, the Instagram, the YouTube, where you can share your videos, the LinkedIn, where here are more professionals. Uh, uh, is Twitter okay so everyone know that uh, Facebook is the most high traffic okay it's a good traffic so when you offer something or you post something which is irresistible plus the high traffic you can easily convert to sales Okay, 
So Facebook, oh, sorry, Face, uh, I choose Facebook to make sharing today because Facebook has the highest traffic, especially for people with the age of 20, uh, 30, 25 to 35. Okay, if your product is suitable for people which is 25 and below, for example, a are more suitable to use Instagram. Okay, YouTube, you have to have videos on in, in it. Okay. So the five Facebook marketing tools is brand awareness, uh, generate leads, oh sorry, customer service, drive traffic, okay, slight problem not center, okay, okay, let me uh, stop sharing and I do it again so that you can look. Okay, how about this? Is it okay? Is it okay with the slide? If it's okay, then I can. Okay, much better, right? Okay, so. We have a zero cost marketing, meaning that you no need to pay anything except for your uh, uh, internet. The high internet, okay, and your handphone. Uh, but when you use a uh, zero cost marketing, so you have to work hard, you have to do a lot of work, but then it's okay because it's a low risk. Okay, Facebook also have a paid marketing, which is called uh, FTX, which is more uh, efficient, but you have to pay. Okay, so. Um, Okay, around the world, Facebook is the high traffic. For example, you said, you said this. Okay, in Japan, you have 28 million. Okay, in Spain, 32% of the population are using Facebook. So German, 0.8 million. Oh, can everybody mute? Uh, your mic because uh, a little bit of sound interactions. Okay, how and Facebook in Malaysia? So Facebook in Malaysia. Sorry. Okay, forty-five percent women, fifty-five percent men, at the age of twenty-five to thirty-four. So the average people who are in the Facebook are at the age of twenty-five to thirty-four. So we have 25 million people there. So if we get 10%, it's already okay, right? Okay, then how? How to use Facebook marketing, okay? How the first thing is you have to create your own FB group to be your tribe. Okay. The second one is join other people's tribe to sell your product. Okay, I will show you step by step. Okay. The first one is Okay, get people. Uh, the first one is you create your Facebook uh, group and then you offer something which is free to make people join your group. And the free product or the free things that you are given away is only will be given in the group. So people has no choice unless to join the group and you put in everyone in the Facebook group. Okay. So uh, this is also called 
prospecting. Okay, prospecting is Okay, almost every day. Okay. Okay, so how to do? You can uh, do contests, for example. People, you do FB Live, you do contests. You can also do uh, watch party. You can also do some unique uh, call to action. Uh, for example, you will be given RM50 ringgit to people uh, who will be the winner. The last people to comment will be the winner. So when people is start wanted for the RM50 ringgit, they start comment. So when the last people comment, other people will comment again because they wanted to be the last. Okay, what you do is you get a very high engagement. People will always do contest. People who share more than uh, 60 times sharings in other groups or WhatsApp or any te uh, at all Telegram, any other social me media will win the contest. You will give away your free products, for example. Okay, you also can do uh, free tutorials, free vlog on where you are, what you are doing, what you have to do during the MCO, or you give the latest updates on, on the victims of the COVID-19. So people are very interested to know and to get, uh, to be the winner, for example. So when you do, coup uh, you also can give coupons, uh, discount coupons, Okay, so people will join the group because all the contests, all the groups, all the uh, all the give and presents we only given in the Facebook groups. Okay. Uh, uh, to engage in the group. Okay, you also can join other people's. Facebook group uh, and do some engagement. For example, you for in one day, okay, you choose five to ten groups to 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 do engagement. You comment, you like other people's posts and share to make people aware of who you are and what are the uh, products or service that you are selling. When you build the engagement, people will be aware of who you are and, and what are your products. Then people will trust you. Okay, we have one concept which we call KLT. Know, like, and trust. You have to post, you have to do like, you have to do sharing in the groups so that people are aware of who you are, people are aware of And then uh, you share all the testimonials. Then people will say that, oh, okay, this is a trusted person. When people trust you, okay, people will buy from you. Whatever you sell, people will buy. Okay. And you also share tips. You also share all the information, tips that people in the in your tribes are interested to know. Okay, get attention from them. Okay, okay, this is a strategy. Like I have said clearly just now, meaning that uh, the first thing you, you beat your own tribe, then after you do the engagement, you join other people's tribe to get more people to join you. Okay, so when you reach more people, you possibility to convert into sales are very high. Who are your target market? Of course, I would suggest that you have to go to people with FIE. FIE means fixed income earner. Who are the fixed income earner? Okay. 
Who are the fixed income earner? Why we have to target the fixed income earner? Okay, because fixed income earner, they will do shopping. Okay, because they have fixed income every month. If people with uh, without fixed income earner, they will think more than 100 times to do shopping, to buy online. Because they are, uh, what, do you, what do you say? They are more thinking on the survival, on the necessity things. If fixed income earner, uh, they are already confident they will get their salary almost every month. So who are the fixed income earner? Of course, they are the government servant. So how many of them now in the market? Don't you know? Okay, there are 1.5 million government servants in Malaysia. Okay, so 1.5 million government servants in Malaysia. Let's take the average of income. Let's say uh, we take the average of 2,000 income. So 1.5 times 2,000 equals to 3 billion income in the market. Okay, so let's say if from the 3 billion money in the market, let's say they, they are willing to spend online is 10%. So you get almost 300,000. So if you get 10% also, you already get 300,000 say at least. Okay, so again, how to find them? How to find the fixed income? Go to Facebook. Okay, you search Penjawat Awam according to their location. For example, Penjawat Awam Putrajaya, the most people there. Okay, Penjawat Awam. Um, Sha'alam, Penjawat Awam in Perak. Okay, there are a lot of groups or guru-guru or teachers stripe or teachers collection. We have a lot of teachers inside there. Okay, so what you have to do is you join the group. You, you search the group for Penjawat Awam. People uh, in the Facebook, you type Penjawat Awam or people who are Penjawat Awam. And then uh, on the search result, there are a lot of groups. So you just join, join 10 groups per day. And, uh, tomorrow you join another 10 groups. After you have joined them, okay, you have to be aware of their rules and their tie advertisement, then you can do. If they are, don't allow, don't do so. Okay, please respect uh, the, the administration uh, rules and regulations. Once you already join and you are confirmed that the, the, in the groups uh, the, you can do advertisement, so you go for it. You go, first of all, you go and comment other people's posting. You go and comment, you like other people's posting, you share their posting as well, and build the relationship from people inside. Okay. Uh, meaning that you do the soft selling and then during the week before gaji uh, they are, they are, the government servant will receive their gaji on the 25th right their salary on 25th so before the 25th let's say 22 or 23 you start doing your hard test selling in the groups of penjawat awam that you already joined uh, you start Then so you join as much as many groups for Penjawat Awam, or for Guru or Bomber, uh, and do build the relationship. And on after you have do a good relationship, people are aware of you, people trust you. Then only you do hard sell during the salary week, of course. Okay, of course, will earn and convert into sales. Do you agree with me? Do you agree with me? And again, when you trust me, you can, even though you, you are in other people's tribe, you can ask them to join your tribe as well. It's a sharing of a database.
Okay. Don't you, don't you feel that ah, a lot of income in the market, a lot of opportunities that you have to grab during the... Oh, so a lot of money in the market. The thing is, take action now. Take action now and do. Okay, how to take action? Okay, the first thing is you have to know okay, who are your fans, who are your tribe, and what you have to do to make people in love with you. The first thing is create the best Facebook post. Okay, the first thing is analyze what your fans and your followers or your tribe like. Okay, so share the content that can attract people to like you more okay that friends the your friends on your tribe and your followers want to read and share and ask them to share ask them to share with others this is called we are multiplying our tribe and followers okay so the co facebook content must clickable, memorable, and of course, should be the most important thing is it should be aligned with the company's marketing goals. It should be aligned with your target. It should be aligned with your, what you are selling. Okay? So you have to plan, 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 and plan. So, okay, how to engage when you already know what your tribe, your followers, uh, what uh, what they like, you can you can plan your posting by for this is only for example and guideline. If you have something which is better, then you can follow. Okay, for example, Monday, Monday. Okay, you find a lot of ideas. For example, you are free on Monday. You find as many posts as possible for you to post, and you put it one folder. Tuesday, you find pictures. Wednesday, you schedule the post. I wish. And then you can also do types of types of posting. For example, today you want to share the storytelling. Okay, you want to tell storytelling, uh, and the storytelling should be in a series. For example, series one. I want how uh what is my ambition when i was small okay series two what did i do what are the challenges or uh, what the happiest thing when i was in teenagers series three okay my sweetest memory when i was in the high school this is for example okay uh, uh, series five so people people want to know about you then people keep on following you and people are excited to know what's next that you want to share so tip number five uh, uh, when you share the tip number four the last thing the call to action you have to tell them that uh, wait for my uh, sharing what time image so if I can get five comments who are interested to know about the sweet, sweetest memories, about the sweetest things in my marriage or the hardest uh, challenges in my marriage. Please comment. Uh, I want to know if there are 50 uh, comments, then only I share. Okay, for example, uh, that are how you want to post on the storytelling and to make it sequence to make people follow you and uh, excited to know uh, everything that you wanted to share okay that are storytelling sharing your own experience from the heart or you can also share uh, entertainment for example in the afternoon okay you share jokes you share funny videos you share uh, something which is uh, like uh, take a turkey or what so uh, and what not okay Tips uh, and a big relationship. And again, whatever you share, you have to align with who your target market is. 
For example, is this week your target market is you want to target housewife, you want to target woman because we are celebrating uh, Mother's Day. So you share everything which is really what women and mothers wanted to know. Okay, so please, whatever you want to do, whatever you want to post. You have to align with who you wanted to tackle, with who you wanted to tackle to be in your tribe to buy your product. Okay? Because when you have a segmentation of your customer, it's, it's, it's easier for you to think, uh, to brainwash about the ideas that you wanted to share. Okay? So the best time to post is once to the minimum of one. or at night because some people they are very busy during the days so before they go to sleep after they have finished all the, uh, the house chorus before they go to sleep they will open the social media so the minimum uh, time to post is three times a day okay any questions until now are you still with me are you still excited to be with me Comment, yes, or give a raise hand, or share a love. Okay, now I want to share with you, for example, during the CMCO, you already have a lot of work to do, or you have to go to work. Okay, you don't have time to do the post three times or 10 times a day, okay? So what you do is you find one uh, time to accumulate all the materials to do posting. Then you can do scheduling the post. For example, you already do the posting in Words, in Microsoft Words, okay? Uh, you accumulate all the posting in one folder. And then you want to schedule the post okay so you can open your facebook page you go to step one is you go to the publishing tools okay you click to the publishing tools okay you click to this publishing tools step one and then when they are when you click to the publishing tools okay uh this one will appear Okay, your step two is you click on this schedule post. Okay, when you click to this schedule post, and then step three post, for example, you, you just put in what you want to post. Okay, all the videos or photos or the uh, copywriting. Okay, after that, after that, you can choose that posting when you want the posting to appear. Okay, you, you can choose here the day and you can choose here the time. Okay, and then when you finish, customize the date and time, uh, you can click on the schedule. Okay, so it will appear, for example, you uh, three times a day. So you one post that you already create, you schedule to appear on next morning. And then again, you go back, go back, go back to create posts now. Okay, uh, put put in, put in all the posting, put in all the video. You choose the date and the time again, and schedule again. So you can do this repeatedly, okay? So for example, it's tomorrow you have to already you already have to go to work and you don't have the time to do posting because you have to to do a lot of backlog work, finish all the uh, when you are uh, at home during the time of uh, MCO. So you just do the schedule post, and the the post will automatically appear on the date and the time that you choose. Was it interesting? Okay. So the thing is, when you want to go to be to go digitalize, 
the thing is you have to remain engagement online. Uh, it's either if you choose Facebook, you can use this schedule post. Okay. Okay, that is interesting. Okay, this is the primary reason uh, people Some people share to express their feelings, okay? So be careful, only express the positive feelings. Don't express something which is in negative thoughts because people on social media, people uh, like uh, something which is very like, something which is fun, something which is enjoyable, okay? So you have to, you also can do soft selling by doing uh, sharing tips on the education. Okay. Uh, yeah. After you have do the sharing, you have to make your posting viral. So when the posting is viral, then so many people are on behalf of you are willing to share your post and you will get famous easily, okay? How to share viral content? Lots of uh, tips and techniques and do and don'ts. Okay. Okay. I think I've been sharing all why you have to go online. Uh, what are the search engine optimization that you want to use uh, to know where are your target market? Uh, just now, we go using Google Trend and Google Suggest. Uh, I also uh, share with you the five uh, famous platforms where you can choose which platform you want to use. It's based on if, uh, if we uh, look at uh, your customer avatar or customer segmentation based on age, if your target market is uh, people who are in the range of 25 to 35 and above, you should use Facebook. If you are more teenagers and youngsters are uh, uh, suitable for your product and service, you have to use the uh, uh, Pinterest if, if, if you are in the uh, field of like property or interior design because in Pinterest there are a lot of beautiful uh, pictures. Okay, so if you want to make money online uh, with your videos, you can use, uh, you, you can be a YouTuber. Okay, so before you be a YouTuber, you have to have the video skills, how to edit video and so on. Okay, so uh, I already sh uh, share with you on how to do Facebook marketing with the zero cost marketing. Okay, now I, already, I also share with you how to do posting, what is the best time, uh, what are the types of posting that you have to uh, do, and the most of all, how to uh, convert your sales and make income earner to be your targeted prospect that can turn into your customer and easily give money to you by buying your product and service. Okay, the last thing that I want to share is on the blueprint for digital marketing success. The first step is, okay, like I mentioned before, you cannot do randomly. You cannot do, you cannot say that your product is suitable to everyone. Even though your product is suitable for everyone, but the first thing is you have to know your client. You have to choose the week or month to target one customer segmentation. Okay, so you have to know your client in order to know your the your customer segmentation that you want to focus this week or this month is who when you know who then you have to analyze what are their problems that your 
on what the value that your product and service can solve your targeted customer. Because people, why people buy? People buy because of the value that they receive. They are willing to pay more if they feel that the value that they receive is worthwhile. So make sure you have to enhance, you have to uh, tell people what are the values that you have that can solve other people's problems. And then only you pick your channels that I told you before, meaning that the channels that which are suitable with your customer avatar or with your customer segmentation. Okay, then understand understand the buyer's journey, set the goal for results. For example, you do one posting, okay, you do one video, you do one storytelling. Okay, when you do and you post. If from the video or the picture that you post, you get a targeted say, for example, you have, want to have uh, 1,000 or 2,000 in a week with that uh, particular video. So meaning that the video is good enough because it shows you, you get the results with the video. What if, if you use the posting, you use the videos and pictures, but they don't show the results, okay? So you have to do again, okay? You have to delete that one, redo again for something which is better. Meaning that you have to start again, know your client, sell, uh, uh, analyze the problems, uh, make sure the value is, the value is the one that can solve the targeted customer's problem, okay? So this is the, the blueprint for digital marketing process. And then you just, uh, when the people buy or your prospect or your customer, don't forget to make and then do the engagement. So that people who are still your prospect who didn't buy yet, you have to uh, tackle them until they be your customer. People who already buy your product, you have to do the customer relationship. For example, you wish birthday because Facebook always send you reminders on their birthday and their anniversaries. So you do all this relationship to make people feel that they are appreciated. Okay, when people feel appreciated, people will like you and they will do the repeated purchase. The, 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 the last thing is we have to make sure we have to convert into sales with all the hard work that we already do. Okay, for now. Okay, so I have shared everything that's supposed to share with five agendas. Are you happy with me today? Can you type at the chat message? Are you learning something? Maybe you can on your mic also to share whatever you would like to share as well. Yeah. And you also can turn your mic if you want to ask questions. Okay, any questions? Very informative. Thank you, Tuan Hasnan. Good sharing point. Thank you, Anita. See you. See you again. Uh, well, thank you very uh, much for those interested on the MDAC course. Please, uh, you may uh, leave your name in the Telegram, so or you can leave your name here, so Puan Nick can straight away capture your uh, your name. And also, uh, the MDAC course is for those who, um, uh, but maybe Puan Nick, can you please tell me more? Tell us more what is the program is about, so that you can more people knows about what you are you're doing how you contribute back to the society uh, okay thank you doctor for the opportunities uh, 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 basic digital uh, uh, online business sponsored by MDEC which is free for the first timer for all nations uh, so I I'm running the uh, the program almost every day. People who are interested can can send your name and phone number to the Telegram, or you can contact me at zero one nine nine eight double two double three. Because the the free 
a quota the free grant is very limited and it's run out already so you have to be very quick okay uh, from the uh, from the class you have you can learn the foundation of business, how to do business in Facebook, how to do business, how to do business, how to do business in WhatsApp, and I will give bonus on the how to reach your first hundred thousand or how to reach your first one million. This uh take this opportunity because it's all free and when you join the first program you will register your name into the mdec database and you have you have to update your sales in the uh, platform and later when you show that you are doing uh, applying all the knowledge you have from the free basic class you will be chosen for the second class which is called eusawan plus where you can go for uh, for free classes for the X1 level as well. And the, th the, the best thing is the third level is when you uh, reach certain uh, requirement, you can go for another uh, very advanced class that people, uh, the MDEC will, will help you to find uh, if you want to go to export, if you want to go online, if you want to go find for uh, angel in order to get all other benefits and privilege. So please join me. Okay, uh, you can send your number at the telegram or you can WhatsApp me at 019-98-22223. Okay, I type my number. So please be quick because the quota is running out. When they reach their quota, it's less than 10,000 already. The, then the grant will finish and you have to wait for the quota for next year, which is 2021, which is too late. Okay, please take action now. Okay. Thank you very much. So, if there is no question, we could, we will end the session uh, in uh, in two minutes time. Okay. Uh, Sabah Sarawak. How do, uh, there's one question. How about those stay in Sabah and Sarawak? How do they join? And also, my oh, personal okay. question is that uh, who will be? Is it anybody also can qualify? For example, if I myself would like to join, can I join it or something like that? For the first timer, meaning that you never join a Usawan class before this. Okay, everybody can join even in Sabah and Sarawak because we are doing the class online via Zoom. Uh, so the thing is, you have to make your internet stable. That's all. And I give you the link when uh, on the same day. Uh, so everyone can join. Uh, 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 the, the requirement is you are Malaysian, 18 years and above, uh, and you are first timer. If you are second timer, meaning that you have you already joined, you have to pay a little bit of uh, fee for uh, uh, 60 ringgit only if you want to uh, uh, refresh the knowledge. Okay, when your, your name is in the database and that you have a lot of like notes for 58 modules, videos, and so many uh, tools that you can get from the uh, Go e commerce uh, platform by MDEC. Okay, so thank you very much. If okay, thank you very much, Jacqueline. Hope to see you tomorrow if you are available. So uh, stay tuned with us for the tomorrow, the last session for the uh, the 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 session session for the MCO during lockdown. Thank you, Ming Ming Fei. Hope to see you tomorrow also. Thank you, Friday. Okay, so uh, thank you very much, Jacqueline. So if there is no question, so we should end our session. So I'll pass back to Dr. Vincent. Thank you. So before I go off, I would like to say sorry if anything for the uh, 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 so the technical matters and so on. So thank you for being with me. See you. Bye-bye.